Hi, Dr. Pratt. Uh, you're, you know the basic a lot, and you know uh, how cultural sectors work in different way with you know, a general business. And now the Taiwanese government want to create a fund to uh, invest in creative industries. What would you suggest to them, and what's your advice to them? I think the first thing is that uh, one needs to look at the longer term yes. um, investment mm -hmm. and uh, venture capital is usually interested in the shorter term mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that uh, the public sector could do would be to extend the, the period of time that mm -hmm. uh, one has for investment. Mm -hmm. The second uh, thing that's really important mm -hmm. is expert knowledge about the speci specificities mm -hmm. of the culture and creative industries. Yes. As we all know, they're different to yes. other industries. Mm -hmm. um, one needs to appreciate that difference mm -hmm. and the challenges that that presents in terms of uh, investment. Mm -hmm. Generally, um, the, uh, the venture capital industry works yes. on a principle of a balance between risk and knowledge. Yes. Yeah? And uh, um, when you have no knowledge, mm -hmm. you have a great amount of risk. And, mm -hmm. and the way that's expressed is that you, expre you uh, charge companies a very high interest rate um, mm -hmm. for, for, for loans. So if you have more knowledge, you can afford to have lower interest rates and mm -hmm. you can generally um, involve uh, what you generally encourage um, more investment. Mm -hmm. and I guess the other point is that here's an opportunity to yes. actually create some exchange of knowledge, some knowledge transfer between okay. the public and the mm -hmm. private sector mm -hmm. through um, this advice. Um, mm -hmm. because the, the interface between businesses and, and government is yeah. the opportunity to exchange knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I think this can be um, tremendously important as well. Mm -hmm. One final thing that I think is uh, um, potentially very um, uh, important about this area is to create some longer-term investment and support mm -hmm. for intellectual property. Mm -hmm. That's what culture and creative mm -hmm. sector produces. Mm -hmm. uh, although it produces uh, tradable commodities, mm -hmm. it also produces intellectual property. Mm -hmm. And usually most of the long-term um, monopoly benefits from these sectors mm -hmm. are from intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So I think the the uh, um, the uh, um, opportunities for the public sector to maybe take a future interest of a small percentage yes. in intellectual property mm -hmm. in exchange for the advice and help it gives. Mm -hmm. And therefore um, you have a balance on both sides um, between the, the present and the future, mm -hmm. the present help and the future benefit yes. um, for the public sector, which then will hopefully make funds like this sustainable. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs>